sure you watched my Gong Club review. Well, Gong watched it as well, and uh, also seen this comment, and uh, this email followed, and now I'm in trouble, because they sent me in loan to test 10 front wings, 7 stabs, and 4 masts. So it's like... Um, 7, 14, 21, 28... 280 possible setups. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna try 280 setups, also because two masts are thinner and they are for the small wings, and two masts are thicker for the bigger wings. And uh, I'm gonna start from the recommended setups as per Gong's website, and then I'm gonna move from there, uh, I'm gonna change the, the stab maybe. <laughs> there is no way. I can't even explain how grateful I am for this. Not only because I can bring good, incredible content onto the channel, but because it's gonna be an incredible learning experience for me as well. I did not expect this quality. I don't know why, but uh, this finiture in photo doesn't look that good, but in reality, it's incredible. And it's super precise. The training edge, it's a knife. Really, this is a dream, honestly. Having access to so many different foil it's incredible incredible yeah it's definitely thinner than the cyrus this is probably the one that i'm most curious about this fluid i can fit my board and my foil in it so this for traveling is gonna be game changer i'm pretty sure that yes i will give them back this bag but i'm gonna buy a, another one also because it's pretty cheap it's like 50 euros, but it's gonna be game changer. Finally, I don't have to walk around with my one meter and a half backpack. Wow. <laughs> I feel like I can kill someone with this. Incredibly precise. I still cannot believe this wing even exists. It's way bigger here than the axis. Cyrus 136. This is probably the most similar to the one that I'm riding now, the Isis 1310. And the little clubber. Tack. A ton of lift and I don't know why, because it has less surface than the 1310. I definitely need to get used to it, but uh, the cadence is 
it's not even comparable to the 1310. I have to go super slow, I have to be super gentle. <laughs> Probably it's because of the stub or the fuselage length. It's much more stable. The pumping cadence is completely different, but uh, you have to put a little bit more pressure at the front to pick up speed. And it's also, of course, a little bit harder to gain height on the mast compared to the Actis for the same reason, for the longer fuse and uh, the bigger stub. super inefficient. I was touching the water with the board uh, like <laughs> all the time at each pump and still I was able to go on. I definitely need to get used to it but the pumping it's more effortless definitely and it also turns better probably because of the uh, less surface at the tips, but it turns better. It's a completely different pumping technique. To make it rise, to gain height on the mast, you have to slow down the cadence. It's counterintuitive, but um, with this setup at least, it's better to give deep pumps so that you can really gain height uh, and speed. With the Axis, I used to just pump quicker to gain height and uh, uh, speed. But uh, yeah, it's definitely easier to pump. I mean, if I were to start with this one from scratch, it would be easier, definitely. Pretty stiff, in your incredibly, incredibly rigid in roll. The board is moving, not uh, not the mast. Yeah, definitely way less rigid in roll, and I would say pretty much the same in your. I just want to point out that these foils require a very different technique than the one that I'm used to, therefore don't expect me to be super efficient, it's gonna take a while, I can't learn how to pump efficiently these foils in 4 days, so be kind. And also another small disclaimer, I didn't get paid, I'm not gonna get paid, I'm not uh, sponsored, I don't have affiliate links, I'm not earning commissions, anything at all. They just sent me the foils and I'm gonna send the foil back at the end of the testing period. So all what you're gonna hear in this review and in the following videos is gonna be my honest opinion as always. As I said during the session, probably the different feeling that I've experienced is probably due to the 
um, fuselage length and to the uh, stub size. As you know, I'm not a physician, but I believe that these two factors generate a downforce at the tail that makes the point of the board rise a little bit more, so lift a little bit more. That's why this wing and also the other wings that I've tried from Gong want us to press a little bit more on the front foot. They really want uh, more pressure, more weight at the front, so it's a different technique. You have to lift the back heel a little bit more perhaps, so that you can really press more on the, on the front foot. And also you want to point uh, your uh, uh, front foot much to the front. You really want to open your toes. You really want to direction to your, rotate your foot so that your toes are almost pointing uh, forward so that it's much easier to uh, push and press on the front foot. Now because of that you get a much more stable foil and that means that uh, you don't really have to be super precise. That's why I believe that this foil with this setup, uh, this line, it's beginner friendly. Another good point is the speed range. Despite its small surface which is 1700 square centimeters you can still go pretty fast and pretty slow at the same time so you do, it's not that hard to start it's not that hard to dock start you can even uh, static start it and once you're up if you want it to it's faster than the 1310 but the thing that i like the most is the way it turns i don't know if it's because of the uh, centered volume because of the um, small tips uh, because of the stiffness of the mast i don't know but uh, i probably didn't fail uh, a single turn it's super sharp during the turns. But of course we cannot have everything and as this is a pretty beginner setup, it's not that agile. I really wish I had a smaller, shorter stab to try it with this foil. And if you have any questions about Gons Gear, just leave a comment and I will reply or I will make even a full video to reply to your comments. Stay tuned for the next videos because I'm running a lot of tests and I'm learning a lot about gear, about foils, mass, thicknesses, blah blah blah.